Okay, so Pluto, that weird little world way out in our solar system's outskirts, has got people talking. New stuff suggests Pluto and Neptune might not be getting along so well. This idea has space nerds and experts worldwide pretty interested. Big names like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are even worried about what could happen if these two get too close. But how did Pluto end up possibly crashing into Neptune? And what would that even mean for us back on Earth? Let's check out this story unfolding way above us. Pluto used to be a full-on planet, but it got downgraded to a dwarf planet because of its weird orbit. But even then, it still fascinated space scientists. Recent stuff from astronomers shows that Pluto's orbit is getting closer to Neptune's path. These folks warn that if they actually hit, it could be bad news, even for Earth. Pluto's trip around the sun is strange. It takes 248 Earth years to go around once. It was found in 1930, and it still hasn't finished one orbit. That's already weird. Plus, Pluto's orbit is super stretched out compared to the other planets, and it's tilted at 17 degrees, like it's dancing to its own music. One strange thing is that Pluto crosses Neptune's path for about 20 years each orbit. Pluto even gets closer to the sun than Neptune during that time. It sounds like a recipe for disaster, right? But they've never actually crashed. What keeps them apart? It's all about gravity. Scientists noticed right away that Pluto's orbit was unusual. Unlike the other planets, Pluto's path is slanted and stretched out. And when they saw that it crosses Neptune's orbit, it got even stranger. The fact that Pluto hasn't crashed shows how balanced the universe is. To get it, we need to talk about the three-body problem, which is the challenge of figuring out how Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun pull on each other with gravity and affect each other's movement. It sounds easy, but it's super complicated. Ideas like libration and the Kose mechanism, sometimes called the Kai Dance, help explain how they don't crash. Libration means Pluto's orbit kind of wobbles in sync with Neptune's. Every time Pluto swings through Neptune's path, it's always about 90 degrees away from where Neptune is. Perfect timing. It also helps that Pluto's orbit is usually higher or lower than Neptune's at their closest points, like they're on different levels of a spiral staircase. The Kose effect helps keep Pluto's path strange but stable. Back in the 80s, scientists used computers to look closely at Pluto's orbit. They found out that it's not just strange, it's technically chaotic. Even small changes in Pluto's position or speed can cause changes to where it ends up millions of years later. But even with this chaos, Pluto stays safe. Modern simulations help us get how big planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn affect Pluto. Neptune and Pluto have a special thing going on. Neptune goes around the sun three times for every two trips Pluto makes. It's like a handshake that keeps Pluto from going nuts. Jupiter's gravity also helps, and Saturn gives it a nudge too. All these forces work together to keep Pluto safe. These unseen forces are key to keeping everything in order. Without them, the solar system could be a mess of planets crashing into each other. That's why we need to keep studying Pluto's orbit, especially with all the talk about a possible crash with Neptune. It reminds us that even chaotic orbits can be stable because of gravity. This whole thing also shows us how much we still don't know. The mysteries of space, like why Pluto's orbit is chaotic but stable, mean we need to keep watching and learning. Pluto's strange path helps scientists study how sensitive orbits are. Even a small change to Pluto's speed or position can mess up its orbit. With computer models, researchers can see how Pluto's orbit reacts to small changes. These simulations are super valuable for space science. Those models from the 80s already showed that Pluto's orbit can act unpredictably, even with mechanisms like libration. A tiny nudge can still shift Pluto's orbit over time. But even with all the weirdness, Pluto keeps going on its path for billions of years. Its orbit might seem unsteady, but it does have a long-term pattern. Trying to guess what will happen in space and where things like Pluto are heading isn't easy. It's hard to make long-term predictions because of its weird orbit. Math models help us get an idea, but they also show how fragile these predictions are. A small mistake early on can change everything. 
That's the beauty and the pain of chaos in space. It reminds us that space is still full of surprises. Knowing how big planets pull on Pluto's orbit gives scientists important clues about how the whole solar system stays balanced. It's like seeing how gears work together. One small movement can affect the whole thing. And while gravity keeps things pretty stable, even smart people like Neil deGrasse Tyson are still paying attention. Tyson, who helped change Pluto's status to a dwarf planet, shared some interesting thoughts on how space science is always changing. He thinks the change wasn't a bad thing but helped us understand space better. He's all about learning and growing as we find out about the universe. For him, Pluto's orbit isn't a problem but a cool puzzle. Tyson also knows people care about space stuff. He sees things like Pluto's renaming or orbit debates as chances to get people interested in science. When he talks about Pluto's complicated orbit, he's trying to get us to think and ask questions. He wants people to stay interested in what's going on in space. Tyson is worried about Pluto's strange orbit, just like other space experts. He thinks the three-body problem could mean a future crash. He warns that if Pluto and Neptune ever hit, it won't be good and could shake up the whole solar system, even Earth. If Pluto crashed into Neptune, it would be a crazy event. Since Pluto is small and made of ice and rock, it would probably break apart, sending pieces everywhere. Those pieces could be dangerous to other planets and moons. The crash might change Neptune's atmosphere or even its orbit. Michio Kaku, known for his work on string theory, thinks studying Pluto's orbit is important for future space travel and understanding the universe. Kaku believes that learning how Pluto interacts with big planets could help us plan better paths for spacecraft, avoid dangers, and plan missions to far-off places. He also sees Pluto's orbit as a small lab. By watching how it acts, scientists can use what they learn to explore other strange worlds. Kaku often says there's a deep with planets movements and physics. He thinks Pluto's dance with Neptune isn't just weird but part of something bigger. His work in string theory tries to understand what the universe is made of, and Pluto's behavior might help test some of those ideas. If Pluto and Neptune ever crashed, Kaku thinks that the science we would from it could be huge. Such an event could make extreme energy and gravity waves, which would be perfect for testing string theory. Even if Earth is safe, scientists would get to see one of the rarest events nature could offer. The gravity waves may could give us info about how space and time act under stress. Pluto's orbit shows how the universe is both wild and organized. It shows us how strong gravity can keep even chaotic paths stable. The three-body problem is just one part of the puzzle. There are other things that could mess up the system. While the chances of planets hitting each other are low, they're not zero. In tightly packed systems like TRAPPIST-1, which has seven Earth-like planets, gravity creates patterns called resonances. Over time, these patterns can get out of sync and cause chaos. Even though TRAPPIST-1 is packed, nothing's crashing yet. Scientists are watching these systems to understand how planets act when they're close together. Then there are rogue planets, which drift without a star. These planets were probably kicked out of their original solar systems by gravity shakeups. If one of them passes near another star system, there's a small chance it could hit a planet. But since space is so big and empty, these crashes are super rare. Rogue planets are few, and the empty space acts like a safety net. Still, they add another layer of mystery to the cosmos. The universe is wild and unpredictable, and Pluto's story is just one part of it. The drama of Pluto and its unpredictable orbit gives us a look at how our solar system works. It shows us how even small things with strange paths can be part of a bigger cosmic dance. Every planet, moon, and asteroid plays a role, and Pluto, despite its size and location, holds secrets that could help us see how everything moves and stays balanced. While Pluto might seem like it's just minding its own business way out on the edge, it's actually playing a key role in the story of gravity and orbits. These mechanics are like gears in a clock. If one moves off track, it can change everything. This balance helps keep our solar system stable. But stability in space isn't forever. As Pluto's orbit changes, nudged by Neptune, Saturn, and Jupiter, new patterns might show up. Some could keep things peaceful, while others might lead to a collision one day. 
It's not something that would happen soon, but anything's possible in space. That's why scientists are always improving their models and tracking even small orbital changes. They use computers to simulate millions of years into the future, hoping to learn something new about how planets move. It's not just Pluto they're watching. Thousands of minor planets, asteroids, and Kuiper Belt objects have orbits that could change because of gravity or unknown forces, like a hypothetical Planet 9 or passing stars. These things might seem far away, but their gravity can affect the solar system. Every one of these objects is a wild card. 